As the simplest document you can get. Mm -hmm. Did you see Susan? Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget Excuse about the me. signature. Miss Bones, I need to talk to you. Yeah. Could you please wait in the hallway? Mm -hmm. It's urgent. Okay, I'll get back to you, okay? Okay, I wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I cannot believe it. Did you really find it in the trash? I was looking for plastic. So that I could recycle, but nobody cares about recycling anymore, I guess. I have never held so much money in my hands. There must be a mistake. Nobody ever throws away this much money. We need to write an ad so that the real owner can see the ad and can respond. Do you want to return the money? Listen, darling, a person who scatters so much money doesn't really care about it. And we really need it. We? Of course. Have you seen our center? We don't have heaters. We don't have enough food, medicine. The hostel doesn't have enough spaces and beds and, and we're getting more and more people. But the government finances these places and they give a lot of money. Where do this money go? Oh, darling. What they give us is pennies. And with this money, we would solve all our problems. Don't you want to help us? Miss Bones, I really want to help. And I help as much as I can all the time. But this money does not belong to us. We need to write an ad so that it can go back to its proper owners. Of course. I will write an ad and I will post it on the internet. And meanwhile, you go ahead, get some food, warm up. You need to rest. And you can leave the baggage here for now. I think I, I, I'll wait and I'll write this ad with you and then I can go and eat and, and rest. It, it doesn't bother me at all. I can keep this one. Um, thank you, Miss Bones. Okay. Honey. You're working too much. You need a rest. Maybe we... going somewhere? That's enough. You want to hit a jackpot? <laughs> well, actually, hit one. Stop it. Read it. Hmm. A package with a large sum of money was found in one of the dumps. The owner may refer to... to 37 Richmond Avenue, provided that he or she proves that there is the real owners of the money. Huh. Maya, I have some great news. Our ad has worked. This is Mr. Randall, and he's the owner of the package. Hello, miss. I'm infinitely grateful that you find my money. Imagine, I confused the garbage bag with money and threw it away. <laughs> it happens, yeah. 
So... Uh, wait, Mr. R Randall. Could you tell me how much money there was in the bag? I just want to check. Yes, of course. One hundred thousand dollars. Can you be a bit more accurate? What do you mean, more accurate? Like, tell me the exact amount that was in this bag. Maya, what are you doing? So what if he doesn't remember the exact amount? Okay, then tell me what else was in the bag. Maybe a photo, maybe a photo of a car. Yes, yes, actually, it's true, a photo of the car that I sold, absolutely true, yeah. Yeah, there was no photo of the car. I caught you, Mr. Randall. This is not your money. Maya, what a stupid game are you playing? Return the money, or do you want to keep them to yourself? Then you will be a thief and I will be calling the police. What are you talking about, Miss Bones? This guy's lying to you. Just agreeing with you, you stupid idiot. Now give me the money. Stop her! Come on! Thank you, officers. Yeah, it's her. Uh, she wanted to rob Mr. Randall. That's a lie, officers. That's a lie. I wanted to return this money to the real owner. How dare you? You dirty scammer. Mr. Randall wanted to help our center. And you just robbed him. You robbed all of these miserable people. All your life you were just begging for money and you lived at somebody else's expense. Officers, do your job. Arrest her. Excuse me. Wait near my office. My name is Daniel Weston. I'm here because of the ad. It looks like you found out the package of money. Yes, yes, yes. I found a package of money, but these people want to take this money for themselves. Oh, there's a misunderstanding. I think that this package belongs to me. Nonsense. How can you prove it, Mr. Weston? Um, there's $180,920 in this package, and I threw it to the trash on purpose. That's accurate. I counted the money. That's the exact amount. And it's all just trap. And you are Miss? Maya Hobbs. The point is that I wanted to find out whether there is an honest person, honest enough to return the money of this amount to the owner. I tossed the money to the office, but accidentally I messed it with the garbage. And I'm so happy I did that because it turned out that I found you, my hopes. As for you, miss, officers, these two persons wanted to rob me and accuse an innocent person. Take them. Uh, <laughs> you are under arrest for attempted fraud. You have the right to remain silent. Wait, officer. If I were you, I would check up the financial statements kept by Miss... Susan Bones. Miss Hobbs, I was searching for an um, honest person, and I think that you are a perfect candidate. I need an assistant to my investment company, and um, would like to propose you to join my team. Me? It could be a start of brand new life of yours. This 
This is a great offer, Mr. Weston. I don't, I don't think I make a very good office worker. But maybe there's another way I can help you. No, 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 thank you. I, 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 don't, want, I don't want money. If you really want to help, please help these people. You know what? I have an idea. Come with me. So, how are you, Miss Manager? We um, installed new showers so people don't have to wait in long queues. And we bought new heaters. Mm -hmm. And we now have a hairdresser with a good look. Many will now have a chance of getting a decent job. I'm so glad to hear that, Miss Hobbs. <laughs> well, thanks to you, Daniel. We make a good team. to go home. I don't think so. When Ron comes to us, you become someone else. I don't want this person in our house. Your wife does nothing but eat your brain. I wish I could be a bachelor again like you. 